And this just in, the Coast Guard announcing a debris field has been found near the Titanic wreckage in the North Atlantic. This as rescues have been searching for the missing submersible. We've just learned that there will be a news conference about those efforts in about two hours at 2 p.m. We do have a live look at the home base of that search effort in St. John's Harbor in Newfoundland, Canada. Roxana Sabery has more. We're searching where the noises are, and that's all we can do at this point. After two days of detecting noises underwater, the Coast Guard said Wednesday there's still hope for the five people on board Ocean Gate's missing submersible. Now, this is a search and rescue mission, 100 percent. But both time and oxygen are running out. In any search and rescue case, you look at all the different factors, how long we've been searching, what the survivability is, the oxygen on board. There is more than just one piece, and right now we're focusing on the search. More rescue vessels are joining the effort, but searching for the small Titan in the near freezing and pitch black conditions on the ocean floor is challenging. If I were a family member, I would remain hopeful, but people generally do not come back from the bottom of the ocean. OceanGate has faced criticism for years. This company decided to self-certify. Engineer Bart Kemper was part of a marine technology group that expressed concerns in 2018. It follows no code and follows no jurisdiction. Kemper said the company agreed to be more transparent with passengers, but continued to operate as an experimental vessel without what the group said is typical certification. How rare is it for something like this to happen? We have not lost a non-military submersible before. We've had failures, we've had fatalities, but we've never had this type of incident happen before. More search vehicles have been joining the effort, including a French deep diving robot that could help release a trapped vessel. But even if teams do find and free the Titan before time runs out, it would still be a challenge to bring it to the surface. Roxana Saberi, CBS News, Boston.